When a television show is adapted into a film, it doesn't always work out. And I'm actually about to talk about one of those adaptations now. Did it work out? Did it not work out? That's what we're going to find out in this video. So let's get it. Hi, I'm Lenny, and in this video, I'm going to be discussing the film Fantasy Island, which was released 2-14-2020. It's rated PG-13 and has the runtime of an hour and 50 minutes. This is a non-spoiler review. I am not going to ruin the film for you. Just going to be speaking in a general sense and let you know what I thought about the film without ruining the plot or the story for you. I do not consider this to be a horror. I actually consider Fantasy Island to be more of a thriller comedy or a comedy thriller. It is not a straight up horror film. I don't even feel like it touches upon horror. But let's get into the mix of it. Let's discuss this. Who's in the cast? Who are the major players? Well, Michael Penna is in this film. We also have Lucy Hale and we have Maggie Q. Fantasy Island is a part of Blumhouse Productions, so it's coming out of the house that Jason Blum built. A lot of these movies go on and be very successful. A lot of these movies are enjoyable. Do I find that to be the case with Fantasy Island? Well, let's, let's keep talking. Let's work through this. Let's figure this out. The main premise behind Fantasy Island is this. Mr. Rourke, played by Michael Penna, who I like a lot. I like this dude. You can't help but like him. He can do comedy. He can do serious dramatic roles. I love him. Mr. Rourke runs a very luxurious grand resort on a remote tropical island where the guests that come there get a once in a lifetime opportunity to have their biggest and most wanted heart desire, wish, or fantasy granted to them. The only caveat being that they have to see this fantasy through to its natural conclusion. That little caveat can sound kind of ominous, and it probably should, because there's that old saying also, be careful what you wish for, you might just get it. Fantasy Island is like Aladdin meeting the Twilight Zone. So you know things are gonna get twisted. Things are gonna kind of spin out of control. And that's what we want. That's why we're watching the film. We wanna see that happen. So here's the thing to know about Fantasy Island. If you are looking for a slasher film like Halloween, this is not the movie for you. Do not waste your money because you are going to be very, very, very disappointed. You're going to be very pissed. You're going to be like, this is some BS. This is not what I was hoping for. And you'll be right. Don't go into Fantasy Island expecting a film like Halloween. Don't go into Fantasy Island expecting it to be a serious psychological thriller. You are going to be disappointed. But if you do enjoy films like Happy Death Day, another Blumhouse production, I think that you are going to be pleasantly surprised with Fantasy Island. If I was to rate this film on a scale of 1 to 10, with 1 being absolute crap and 10 being superb, amazing, godlike, what would I give Fantasy Island as my rating? Well, I would give Fantasy Island a seven. I think it is an enjoyable film. And I know this movie is getting tore up by reviews. I've seen some scores and the scores are very, very low. And I don't know what these people were expecting per se, but I was pleasantly surprised. I was entertained. I enjoyed what I was watching. And isn't that the point of seeing a movie? Isn't that the point of going to the movies at the theater? The point is for you to feel something. And I felt enjoyment. I felt entertained. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see other videos like it, all you have to do is hit the YouTube logo down in the corner and you'll get a notification anytime I upload a new video. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for your time. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity to talk about these things that I'm passionate about. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Please be safe, be careful, and I'll talk to you soon.